serpent, he built this lovely world of us. We believe that he's our grandfather. So our grandfather, our creator. This one here is the kidna. He's going out, I'll take a look for food. Starts off like this, right? With your stone axe, all you do is chop, uh, chip it away. On didgeridoos, they keep the bark on the bottom. Like this one here. Okay, it's to signify what tree it's come from. Because there's a variety of trees, there's iron bark, stringy bark, paper bark, red gum, yellow gum, from because different woods can make different sounds. Okay, you also get a headache. So you have to make sure you do it softer. Alright? Like this. first step, vibration of your lip. Now the second step is making the beat, okay, creating rhythm. Now how it's done, it's all done from the movement of your tongue. So you're vibrating your lips and you're moving your tongue back and forth and up and down. Okay, now you're imitating animal noises or any noise in general. Try. <laughs> okay, the thing Okay, the jabru. Last one is the kookaburra. Try it. Step. Now the last and final step, breathing. Okay. Eventually you have to breathe, otherwise you pass out. It is circular breathing. So in through your nose and out through your mouth. Continuously down the didgeridoo, like this. Ceremonies where it could go on for a couple of days, weeks, there's also some that will go for months. A uh, few ceremonies can go on for four months straight, non stop. So that's we are going in a rainforest looking for food. They call me Ganyara, means saltwater crocodile. Well, over here we have Ghana, black cockatoo, Kamubara, eagle. And we have Tunduru, Bandicoot, Manawu, Running Water, Tinipolo, Night Owl, and Bucket of Bunker, Rainforest Lady. The second dance is the imitation dance of the Broga. The Broga is a large flying water bird that flies high in the sky in search of water in a place to rest. This last dance.